Hello HUD House Hunters, it's Donnie Corum with Colorado Springs ForeclosureDeals.com. Today we're standing in front of 4622 Crimson Circle North. This is a ranch style home with about 2,000 square feet, four bedrooms, two baths, a one car. Guys, somebody started a remodel on this thing and for whatever reason lost it to foreclosure. This has some all new features which I think are going to absolutely blow you away. And it's in a neighborhood that supports $185,000, but they got this thing listed for $155,000. It just hit the market literally today. Day. This is an opportunity for somebody to grab this thing at a great deal on a property that really doesn't need much, if anything at all. With that, let's go ahead and take a look at the Crimson property. Come along. As we start in the Crimson, right out of the gate, when you walk in, you'll notice that this thing smells of brand new carpet. As I look down at the carpeting, guys, I don't think this carpet has ever been actually used. Now this tells me that maybe they put this in before they were foreclosed on because they were trying to sell it with new carpet um, because the government doesn't have this kind of feature. So this is something that was done very, very recently. It still has the new carpet smell and that means you don't have to worry about spending the money on the carpeting. Up front here we have a beautiful vinyl window. This has recently been replaced and of the windows in the house, the big one is the one you got to worry about because it's the most cost effective, I mean, costly, excuse me. Not necessarily because the window costs that much, but the labor when you're putting in this size window can be prohibitive because it's just a lot of glass to move around. This is already done, so that's another feature you don't have to worry about on Crimson. As we continue back this direction of this rancher, uh, we walk into the kitchen. Now, again, we have a vinyl window here into the kitchen, and this is where, if there is any work that's going to be done on this property, it's going to go in right here. The paint is actually in pretty tip-top shape, but as you can see here, these cabinets are original, and then the old-style white cabinets. This is not a ton of cabinetry, guys, so it's not going to cost a lot of money to put in all brand new cabinets into this kitchen, and the impact it's going to make on the value of this property is going to be huge. The flooring is an old style linoleum. This also seems to be original. So for my money, I would want to either swap this out with an upgraded newer linoleum or just do it right and put it in a nice kitchen tile. But beyond that, guys, this is really the worst of the house. And as you can see, it's really not that bad. This is the first of the secondary bedrooms. And um, again, brand new carpet already, two-tone paint done with a decent painter. So that looks pretty nice. The doors are slightly dated, but nothing you couldn't live with. So I mean, maybe you swap these out, maybe you don't. I think these are fine. We don't have vinyl windows throughout. This one would need a window at some point as it's the old style aluminum. But again, not a huge investment. And with the amount of equity we're gaining on this property ready to go, anything we do is going to be just an additional add-on to the benefits of this property. Same size as the first. Again, the paint looks awesome. There's not a notch in the drywall anywhere. Um, the, the paint has got a two-tone where they did the trim in a different color just like we do when we flip homes. Honestly, guys, I don't think I'd do anything in here except maybe swap out the doors. And obviously the window is a little bit older, so we're going to be replacing that at some point. But this is not, this is cosmetic stuff. This is stuff you want to do to make this $30,000 more than what we're getting it for. Arguably the master, but being this is a ranch style home, the rooms were all similar in size. The one discerning factor about this room is it has two closets. So sort of the his and hers. This is going to be his, you can tell by the size. And this back here is going to be hers. Because it's the walk-in. So this is ultimately the master bedroom just because it does have the two closets, but room size wise they're all very similar. Window is also slightly dated, so we'll be looking to swap that out. Paint looks great, carpet's brand new. This is a done deal, pretty easy. Last room we're gonna visit before we head out is the uh, bathroom. The bathroom's got a, a weak linoleum, so we're gonna swap that out. Um, you've got a decent sized vanity, and uh, the tile is definitely showing its age. They've painted around it, but for my money, I'd probably just swap that out with a brand new tile surround. Cost you a couple hundred bucks, and then while you're at it, just go ahead and retile the floor. So, couple of minor things that we're going to add to this bathroom, but nothing serious. And in general, everything that seems to be in livable condition as far as that goes. We've only covered half the house, the first thousand square feet of this 2,000 square foot home. We're going to head down to the basement and check that out. Come along. So we're downstairs in the Crimson Circle property, and as you walk into the basement, the carpet down here is also new, I believe, although it's different than the stuff that's upstairs. This fireplace feature is something they definitely added on because I know these weren't built this way, but I like it. It's, um, you know, the brick needs to be cleaned up a little bit, but in general, it's nice to have a fireplace down here in the basement where you're hanging out with the family anyway, and um, just an interesting addition. Don't have to do flooring. We don't have to do paint. That's the biggest part, you know, square footage-wise to cover everything. So now we're just fixing up the minor issues to make this house a home, and that's where you come in. 
Now, we continue back this direction. We're actually going to find two bedrooms down here. So this is a total of a five-bedroom home, and uh, this is the first of them. And as before, everything looks to be in tip-top shape. Carpeting looks good. Uh, the windows are a little bit dated, and uh, the paint looks good. So this is bedroom number four that we've looked at. Not a lot of stuff I'm going to swap out in here, quite honestly. Um, then we continue on to bedroom number five. Um, again, paint, nice. Doors replaced, maybe. A um, couple of windows that we need to swap out. But guys, well, you know, as far as simplicity of rehab goes, this house has it all. You're walking in here to add a couple of things like windows and doors. You're not doing a huge amount of rehab to this thing. And again, we're starting at 155. That's the asking price on this with a value somewhere in the 180s, 180 to 185 all day long. So you're looking at $30,000 worth of equity for spending a couple hundred on the windows, each window, and then you know a couple more hundred on the doors. That's a good deal, guys. That's what we're looking for. And finally, we have our bathroom down here. Um, the bathroom, again, has an interesting uh, linoleum, a little bit dated, but the vanity looks to be in pretty good shape. Um, toilet looks to be in good shape, and it's a three-quarter bath. It's got a shower there towards the back. Um, pile looks to be holding up okay. Uh, you know, a couple of things we might update back there, but nothing serious. So, you know, that's five bedrooms, two baths, a one-car garage for $155,000. Location-wise, we're literally a stone's throw from Doherty High School. When we walked out front, we, we actually see Doherty from this location. So if you've got kids going to Doherty or that will be going to Doherty down the road, you can walk from here. It is very, very close. Let's check out the backyard. We'll get you guys rolling. So we're out back at Crimson Circle, and as you can see here, we've got a pretty decent sized backyard. The property sits on about 7,000 square foot of space, so it's a decent sized lot. The siding looks to be in good shape. Uh, back here, you're going to see some dirt, but I, it, this looks more exactly just that dirt. I imagine that'll power wash right off, but if it takes just a bit of paint touch up to bring that into the times, that's fine. The uh, structure of the house looks to be solid, no major movement, etc. You've got a uh, T-lock shingle roof up top there seems to be relatively recent you know t-lock's not ideal but i think we can live with the t-lock that's not a bad thing let's go ahead and recap crimson and we'll get you on your way crimson circle is a five bedroom two bath one car house with 2,000 square feet located just minutes from doherty high school so you're basically barnes and austin bluffs area this house with five bedrooms two baths one car 2,000 square feet is listed at $155,000, but the comps in the neighborhood support $185,000 pretty comfortably on a home that needs very little work. Guys, this is an opportunity because you can also pick this home up on HUD's $100 down program. Give me a call because I think you need to see this one in person. This isn't going to last long. So the number's at the bottom of the screen, 719-649-2500, or hit us up, coloradosprigsforclosuredeals.com, where you can register online to get instant property updates of deals right as they hit the market. Interest rates due to this stock market debacle had dropped below 5% for the first time in a couple of years again. We're back to an extremely, extremely low interest rate, but I, I mean this literally. We've got maybe two weeks of that, and then I expect to see rates start on the climb. What that means is if you buy while rates are low, you can buy more house for less money out of pocket on month to month. This is the time to do it. With only $100 down, you don't have to worry about a big down payment to do it. With that, this is Donnie Corm with Call to Springs for Closuredeals.com. Guys, we really appreciate you tuning into the videos. Stay tuned. We'll catch you guys on the next one.